Good morning, my friend, and welcome to day 47 of the 3030 Challenge Continuation. As we talked about throughout the weeks, there is times when a certain verse will come up, uh, rise off the page for you that you're going to grip, and the next day or maybe a couple of days after, another verse will just tag on to that, and, and God's just using themes and he's just using a consistent message to really speak to right where you're at. And today that happened again for me. As you remember, yesterday was uh, chapter 46 of Psalm, and it was verse 10, right? Uh, Be still and know that I am God. And as we look at chapter 47 today, I want to read the theme that starts out the chapter in my NIV uh, Life Application Study Bible. And here's the theme. It says, God is still king of the world. All nations of the earth will eventually recognize his lordship. Mm, how strong is that? All right, so we're going to move down to what is your verse that jumped off the page for you today in chapter 47? Ready for mine? Here it comes. Verse 8. God reigns over the nations. God is seated on his holy throne. All right, so that's the verse I'm going to grip, right? The G is God's word. Now I'm going to slide down to the R for the reveal. And this is what it revealed to me. God is still large and in charge. He will always be in control. All right, now I'm gone down from the R to the I, which is implementation. And this is what I wrote in my journal. It says, knowing that God is in control should allow a calm confidence to be permeating in and through me. It should. Now for implementation, does it always? Probably not, but um, just having a calm confidence knowing that the Lord's in control should be, uh, should be within me. Now the P is I pray this verse. Uh, this is what uh, I lifted up to the Lord this morning. Lord, you are the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. I know that you are working out all things for good, and that gives me a calm assurance. All right, so that is me gripping Psalm 47, verse 8. I would absolutely love to hear uh, what verse rose up for you, but it, when you really look at the world and what's going on, and a lot of it is Obviously, the coronavirus and the upheaval of the fear rising up. Um, it's really interesting to me that this week started uh, with Psalm 46, and there's just such great assurance in chapter 46, chapter 47. Can't wait to see what God unfolds. Chapter 48, 49, 50 this week. Um, I'm going to look with great expectation of how he's going to speak to us, okay? All right, let me close this out collectively with all of us coming together with a word of prayer. And Heavenly Father, Lord, again, we just humbly bow before you, God. Lord, you are in absolute control of all things. So, Father, we just ask that you continue to give us that calm confidence that resonates within us and through us. Lord, we know that as we seek after you, God, you will continue to guide and direct our steps. Lord, thank you that we can come together, open up your word, and Lord, knowing that you're going to speak into the depths of our hearts. We ask all of this in the mighty and most powerful name of Jesus. Amen. All right, God bless you guys. I will look forward to seeing you bright and early in the morning. Take care.